Hello everybody, this is Matt. Welcome to MC Daily vlog number seven. Uh, today's a big day. Today I have all of my pre-op appointments down in Syracuse. Um, as you can see outside, it's a beautiful day. So unfortunately I'll be in the truck and in the doctor's offices instead of out fishing or mowing the lawn again or something like that. But it's a big day. I'll be getting a lot more information. Right now I'm just waiting for Amara to get here. Her mom's bringing her. They actually had some extra snow days this year because of the mild winter that we had. So she uh, has today and tomorrow off as well, which is pretty convenient. It saves me a trip since I'm already coming down this way anyway. Um, so just waiting here. Um, I have my, my first appointment here in about 45 minutes. I'm hoping I can make it there in time. I'm going to have to hurry. Um, that's for my MRI, and then we go, we'll go. we go from there. I'll uh, cut in some more updates as we go. Um, see you soon. And good morning. Welcome to the MC Daily Vlog. I'm sorry it took a little long. It's been a busy couple of days. Um, as I mentioned before, I hope it adds it in here. Uh, my surgery actually got moved up from June 6th to June 1st. So I only have five more days, four more days until my surgery. Um, I had all of my pre-op appointments and such the other day on Thursday. Um, went pretty well, actually. Did the MRI. The doctor said that um, the damage in the L4, L5 is not to the point where he needs to do the surgery on that one as well. So it'll stay just the L5 S1. And as he described it, he's going to make a little, little incision in my belly. Little, I guess, is a relative term when you're talking about incisions. I'm just going to go in there, chisel out the middle part of my disc between the L5 and the S1. And they're going to put a spacer in there. And then the spacer has uh, some polymorphic bone graft material in there, which will eventually grow back into new bone and fuse those two vertebrae together, making one solid vertebrae. Give me some of that disc space back. And then he's gonna, as he said, he's gonna flip me over and put four screws in in the back to uh, help stabilize as well. Um, I'll be in the hospital I'm going Wednesday morning. I have to be there at 6.45. Uh, the surgery's at 8.45. said I'll probably be in the hospital about five days, um, which is a bummer because um, I'll miss the whole weekend with tomorrow. That's why I was hoping for the Monday surgery so I could be home on Friday. But um, mom's going to be here on, on Tuesday. I get to pick her up at the Amtrak station down in Syracuse Tuesday morning. Um, but uh, before that, I have to go into work, do up my my request for leave forms uh, for the convalescent leave, get those all turned in, wrap up some other work that I was planning on doing Tuesday anyway, because I thought I was going to have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as well to do work, get everything prepped up, get everything transferred over to other people, um, and go from there. But now my time frame is quite a bit shorter, actually. So, so that's the deal on that. As far as uh, after surgery, I'll have another... Oper uh, I have another uh, not operation, another appointment with him. About 30 days after is what he said. Um, be off eight to 12 weeks, like he was saying initially. Um, but uh, as far as restrictions, it was kind of funny because I asked him, like, so what kind of restrictions are there? You know, do I need to wear a back brace? He's like, nope, no brace. I said, okay, what kind of restrictions, lifting wise? He's like, and all he said is he looked at me. He said, don't be a hero. <laughs> And me being me, I mean, I'm wearing a Jurassic Park t-shirt for crying out loud. Um, it was pretty funny because all I could think of was the end of the first Iron Man movie when he's having his press conference and he's reading from the cards. He says, uh, some people have made some wild accusations that I'm some sort of superhero. And, uh, and clearly, and all I could think of was what he said next, which was, clearly, I'm not the hero type. And of course, if you've seen the movie, spoiler alert, it's an eight-year-old movie. There's not really any spoilers at this point. Um, he said, that's when he, you know, puts the card down, looks up, and kind of smirks and says, I am Iron Man. So Amara thinks it was because I was wearing my Batman shirt um, that he said that. But anyway, it was funny. It put me at ease. Um, it helped put my mind at ease a little bit. My doctor's got a sense of humor. Um, really good doctor. Uh, he does not seem concerned. You know, there are risks of complications. While he's in there, he has to move the aorta and the vena cava over. Well, first he's got to move the sac, the, which I believe is the peritoneum. It has all of your internal organs, and he has to move that out of the way. 
That's good. He's not cutting into that. So there's that's one less complication factor in there. But uh, but he does have to move that out of the way. And then the aorta and the vena cava, which are your main blood vessels, that go, come down and they branch off like a Y and go down each of your legs. Well, they, they branch off there right where he's doing the surgery. So he's got to move those out of the way. That's what they got the vascular surgeon for. And he said, you know, when you're moving around those and you're working around those, there's always a chance of injury. Um, you might need a blood transfusion. He said, you know, when I'm going to be swinging a hammer and a chisel in there to get that disc out. So it could have happened. Um, so there's the risk of that. But it's at Upstate University Hospital in Syracuse. They have great specialists there. Uh, he said we have people there that if we need if we need an assist, they'll be right in there. They will fix you up. You'll be okay. Um, of course, you know, in the back of my mind, again, Jurassic Park t-shirt. Um, one of the things that comes to mind to me is, you know, if things go bad, what's the worst that could happen? I shave my head, open a school for gifted kids up here in upstate New York. Some of you will get that reference. Um, but, uh, but I don't foresee that being an issue. Um, a buddy of mine, uh, he had a similar surgery done last year. Not the, not the A-lift. He had his in the back where he, they put the cage in there and everything. He's having some issues. Um, so there is the possibility of it not healing correctly and not healing properly. That is a, a valid possibility. Um, but again, I just got to remember not to be a hero. Take my time. Take it easy. Um, I'll be able to drive once I'm able to manage the pain enough to not be off the, or to be off the meds. Um, and if I need to go somewhere, I go to the store or go to work or go into the office or go pick a bar up on a weekend, then I'll, I mean, I can do that. I just have to make sure not to be on my meds when I'm doing it. So that's where we're at. Uh, right now, um, I'm staying it's Saturday morning at 7.15. I've been up for about three hours now because it's hot. Stinky, stupid hot right now and humid. Um, so I was up, uh, so I gathered up a bunch of trash around the house. Um, every week, every weekend or every couple of weeks, I'll, I, I, here in Jefferson County, they have a dump where you can go and take your trash. Um, before I started coming here, I was paying $2.50 a bag. Well, if I come here, they, they've got a weigh station. They weigh you. When they weigh you, then you go and you dump your trash in the dumpsters, and then they weigh you again. And the minimum fee is five bucks, all right? I have a big Dodge Ram 1500. So I've actually filled the back of my truck with trash from like the shed and everything, a whole bunch of garbage. And the most I've ever paid was 850. And that was for like eight bags of trash or something like that. So it's, it's a lot more, yes, I have to drive, but it's a cost savings um, and it's easier. I don't have to worry about, you know, animals getting into my trash at night uh, while it's sitting out at the curb. I don't have to worry about them not getting the pavement. So, and, and you know, again, it's a big cost savings. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, later today, we're going to go return bottles and cans. We get five cents a can or bottle here in New York instead of 10 cents like in Michigan. But every bit counts. Um, it's supposed to be nice and hot and steamy again today. So we're probably gonna try to do some fishing outside later. Um, once it rains this weekend, it's supposed to rain tomorrow and Monday, I believe. Um, so that's when we're gonna focus on the inside stuff, finish the last couple things up upstairs, um, get the rest of the laundry put away, sweep, mop, get the dog hair up, that kind of thing. But uh, anyway, that's where we're at. Um, four days, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four days I'll be in surgery four days from right now I'll be there I'll be probably be hooked up to my IV um, wearing my sexy you know hospital gown or whatever um, trying to get some fluids in me of course get ready for the surgery um, but uh, then I'll have some more updates I'll my goal is that morning I'll you know do a video either on our way down there or once we get down there uh, before I go in, once I come out of surgery, so you'll see me all hopped up on the, on the drugs, and then uh, if they get me up and moving around that day, you know, get some video of that. 
um, because they do have Wi-Fi. They do have Wi-Fi in the hospital. So I'll be able to upload good video with good resolution, and we can go from there. But anyway, thank you again for watching. Uh, remember to tell your friends, like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Twitter at MC Daily Vlog, and by us, I mean, well, me. Uh, but anyway, thank you. Thank you for giving me your time. I'll talk to you later.